Hello everyone, I'm Olivia, developer advocate at TomTom. Tom. And I am Jose Jose. Today, we're going to be talking about TomTom's newly released Map Styler tool. This tool allows us to change the appearance of maps across varying applications and platforms by changing the color schema, data, and other shapes to our preferences. Maps are great. So this styler has a ton of uses, as maps have been proliferated in tangent to our modern explosions of location-aware devices. Knowing that 80% of mobile applications use location-based services, making location an essential part of our life. However, there is one catch. Most mapping services only use their default map style, which may or may not be easy to read. TomTom's first maps weren't complex and were thus easy to read. Over the decades, we developed increasingly minute map features until there were over 900 layers. Additionally, different types of applications require different kinds of map services. Emergency service, for example, require different uses for those or parking applications, which in turn is different from creating high-definition maps for autonomous vehicles. Which brings us back to the map styler. Here, you can change the colors of different map aspects across numerous layers and zoom levels without any knowledge of code. It's pretty simple. The map styler live on TomTom's developer portal. You can find it by heading to the documentation tab at the top of the home page, clicking on it, and then clicking on the styling tool underneath. By default, a map with the initial style will be loaded, and if you're not logged into your developer portal account, you'll be prompted for your API key, which is on the dashboard button on top of the page. When you navigate to the page, you'll find we have three main panels. Leftmost is the list of current layers we can style with TomTom Tom map data. Middle is info we can modify from that selected layer and third is the visualization of the current map. By default, we have created seven different predetermined styles so users can easily make some initial adjustment, such as changing to this light color style, for example. And voila. Let's start with the basic theme. The premise of the tool is very simple. First, you select the layer to modify at the left. Let's say we want to make an edit at this zoom level, level 8 in Salt Lake City. Say we want to change the lake color first by clicking on the body of water to select the layer. We realize here that this is a filled polygon filled with this color blue. We can change it with the color picker, so we'll change it to this darker blue. You can see how easy it was to change this color. It is equally easy to change every other layer, such as the background. You want to think of the map uh, as a canvas, largely ruled by the background. Every other layer is superimposed on top of it via the order indicated on the panel on the left. Looking at some of these lower layer levels, we realize we can quickly change a construction area's color. Note that when simply clicking on the map to make edits, you touch several superimposed layers at once, 
which is why several fields pop up on your click. Here, we select the golf area and change it to a green shade. There is much more to modify other than color, from shapes to data representation. You can extrude polygon from the field layers, such as here, where we edit the 3D building from TomTom data. And when you're done editing your map, go to export to download the current style so you can use it in your own applications. That's a basic primer on the map styler. We invite you to visit our developer portal to see what else you can build. We'd love to see your creations. Add them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.